Standard 6, Subject Maths, Chapter 13, Profit and Loss, Practice Set 33. Let's learn about profit percent and loss percent. When determining the percentage of profit or loss, it is compared with the cost price. You already know how to find the profit and loss. Now we have to find the percentage of profit or percentage of loss and it is compared with the cost price. When we say that the profit or the loss was 10%, we mean that the profit or the loss is 10 rupees if the total cost price is taken to be 100 rupees. So let's see the formula. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price is equal to SP minus CP where SP is selling price and CP is the cost price. So what is the formula for profit percentage? Profit percentage is equal to profit upon cost price into 100. So you have to memorize this formula in order to solve practice set 33. What will be loss percentage then? Just like profit percentage, loss percentage will be loss upon CP into 100. Let's have a look at it. First, the formula for loss, which is equal to cost price minus selling price, that is CP minus SP. Loss percentage is equal to loss upon CP multiplied by 100. So these are the two formulas for profit percentage and loss percentage. You will have to write down neatly in your book. So let's have a look once again. Profit percentage is equal to profit upon cost price into 100. And loss percentage is equal to loss upon cost price into 100. With the help of these two formulas, we are going to solve practice set 33. Do write these two formulas in notebook and learn them well. Practice set 33. Question number 1. Maganlal bought trousers for rupees 400 and a shirt for rupees 200 and sold them for rupees 448 and rupees 250 respectively. Which of these transactions were more profitable? Now, we know that in both the cases, he has made a profit while selling trousers and while selling shirts. So, if we found out the profit by just using the formula, we will not be able to compare where he made more profit because it will be different profit since the costs are different. So, here we have to find a profit in percentage. So let's see how we can do it separately for trousers and separately for shirt. And then we will come to know through percentage which transaction was more profitable for Maganla. So solution. Cost price of trousers is given as rupees 400 and selling price of trousers is given as rupees 448. This we got from the question. So now we are going to find a profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price is equal to 448 minus 400 is equal to rupees 48. So we got a profit for trousers. Now we will find a percent profit for trousers. What is the percent profit formula? The percent profit formula before that let Maganlal make x percent profit on selling trousers. Since we have two different commodities which we have to find out, one we take as x percent and the other as y percent. So let Maganlal make x percent profit on selling trousers. Therefore, profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. So x percent profit is equal to, we will substitute profit, how much we got? 48 upon cost price 400 into 100. This way we will get a profit percentage which is x percent. So x is equal to 48 into 100 upon 400. CP is 400. So 0, 0 gets reduced. 48 divided by 4 is 12. So x is equal to 12 percent. That means Maganlal made 12 percent profit on selling trousers. Now let's find out for shirts. So cost price for shirt is rupees 200 and selling price of shirt is rupees 250. 
profit is equal to selling price minus cost price so just as we found out the profit for trousers we will find the profit for shirt 250 minus 200 is rupees 50 his profit earned on shirt, selling shirts was rupees 50 now let us assume that the profit percentage to be y so let maganlal make y percent profit on selling shirt now we will write the formula profit percentage is equal to profit upon cp into 100 substitute the values profit is 50 cp is 200 into 100 0 0 gets reduced 50 divided by 2 is 25 therefore y is equal to 25 percent now y is a percentage of profit on selling shirt so selling shirt he earned 25 percent profit and if we go back we see that on selling trousers he had got a profit of 12 percent so which one is more profitable yes transaction involving selling of shirt was more profitable so this way we have solved the sum based on profit percent first we found out profit individually for uh, trousers then for shirt and then the percentage using the formula and we compared which percentage was higher we wrote the answer that the transaction involving selling of shirt was more profitable question number two Ram Rao bought a cupboard for Rs. 4,500 and sold it for Rs. 4,950. So we have got cost price and selling price for cupboard bought by Ram Rao. Similarly, Sham Rao bought a sewing machine for Rs. 3,500 and sold it for Rs. 3,920. So selling price and cost price is also there for Sham Rao's sewing machine. Whose transaction was more profitable? Just by finding the profit, we will not be able to compare. So here again, we have to find the percentage of profit. So same way we are going to solve the sum. First, we will find the profit of each one. And then using the percentage profit formula, we are going to solve and find out the percent profit. And compare whose was more profitable. So first part of the sum we will do for Ram Rao. So, Cost price of cupboard is equal to Rs. 4,500 and selling price of cupboard is equal to Rs. 4,950. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. 4,950 minus 4,500 we got the profit Rs. 450 for cupboard. That is cupboard bought by Ram Rao. Now we will find the profit in percentage. So let Ram Rao make X percent profit on selling cupboard. Profit percentage formula is equal to profit upon cost price into 100. Substitute the values. We get X is equal to 450 upon 4500 multiplied by 100. Reduce the number of zeros. You will have 450 divided by 45. 45, 1s are 45 and 1 zero makes it 45, 10s are 450. So X is equal to 10%. That means Ram Rao made a profit of rupees 10%. Now let's see Sham Rao's profit. Sham Rao, the cost of sewing machine for Sham Rao is rupees 3500. Selling price of sewing machine is equal to rupees 3920. Now we will write the profit. Profit formula and substitute the values. You get rupees 420 as the profit. Let Sham Rao make Y% profit on selling sewing machine. So, formula now. Profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. Substitute the values. Y is equal to 420 into 100 upon 3500. 3, 0, 0 gets reduced and when you solve, you get Y is equal to 12%. Ram Rao's profit was 10% and Sham Rao's is 12%. So we can say that Shamra's transaction was more profitable. So this way we have solved question number 2. Question number 3. Hanif bought one box of 50 apples for Rs 400. 
he sold all the apples at the rate of rupees 10 each was there a profit or loss what was its percentage now hanif's hanif has bought one box of 50 apples for rupees 400 that means 50 apples for rupees 400 400 is a cost price he sold at the rate of rupees 10 each 10 is the selling price of one apple so for 50 apples we will find selling price by multiplying by 10 50 into 10 500 is selling price that means he made a profit and we have to find the percentage of his profit so let's look at the sum solution cost price of 50 apples is given as rupees 400 directly selling price of one apple is given as rupees 10 therefore selling price of 50 apples is equal to 10 into 50 is equal to rupees 500 selling price is greater than the total cost price hanif made a profit Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price is equal to 500 minus 400 is equal to rupees 100. 100 is Hanif's profit. Now, our sum doesn't end here. We have to find the profit's percentage. So, percent profit formula. Let Hanif make X percent profit on selling apples. Formula profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. Substitute the values x is equal to 100 upon 400 into 100 0 0 gets reduced and we get x is equal to 25 percent 100 divided by 4 is 25 so hanif made a profit of 25 percent so this way we have solved our practice at number 33 do practice the sums well in your notebook stay safe keep learning and thank you.